Have you ever suffered with pain or irritation across the front of the hips, either whilst you're running or after a run? You wouldn't be alone because hip flexor injury ranks highest amongst common running complaints. Why? Well, it's usually down to technique and in my experience working with students with this issue, we've resolved it through a combination of improving running form and a regular yoga practice. So let's look at a few things that we can do to help. Hi, I'm Helen Clare. This is the Run Better With Yoga show, helping you to run injury-free and move with more ease and more joy. So, let's test our hip flexors to start with. You'll need to come down to a low lunge position. And see if you can align your knee over your front ankle and your back knee under your pelvis, under your hip there. Lengthen your tailbone just as much as you comfortably can, creating this square type shape inside the legs. Keep the front foot grounded down. And we're just seeing if we can lengthen the spine right over that back thigh. And you'll probably feel at least a bit of a stretching sensation across the front of the hip here. Now, if this isn't possible, if you can't make that shape or if you can't completely lengthen the spine over the top, oh, um, over that thigh, then there's a bit of work to be done. So you can actually do this pose to help increase the flexibility of the hip flexors here. Hold this for around five breaths, lengthening through the spine here. After your five breaths, you could just relax, maybe lengthen it out and then do that two or three times on each side. And you'll probably find that one side is tighter than the other. So that's what we can do to test the flexibility of the, of the hip flexors at the moment. So try that a few times per week if you find that you are holding considerable tension there. Now it's often the case that most people are holding an excess of tension in the hip flexors. So another great thing that we can do post run is just to lie over a block. So you just come, lie down first, lift your pelvis and just slide the block or something of a similar size and shape underneath your sacrum and lengthen your legs out. And you just lie back, relax for two or three minutes. You don't have to feel a big stretching sensation through the front of the hips. You just get to lie back and let gravity do its work. You could even draw one knee in towards you Again, for maybe a minute or two on the other side, just to increase that lengthening a little bit more. But that's gonna be great for pretty much everyone to do after their run. So now let's think about what we can think about in our run. What do you, what would you say you lift first when you are about to run? Now for many people, it's gonna be the knee as though you're striding forwards. But how about if we could think about lifting the heel first? Because if we lift the knee first of all, you're instantly contracting through the hip flexors. You're probably gonna end up over striding and then over relying on the quadriceps. So if we can keep our tall posture, if we can think about lifting from the heels, then we're not working the hip flexors so much. So a little drill that we can try, just here, just so standing in one place, slide the foot back as though you were about to lift that heel, then just push off the toes to step forwards on the same side. Slide it back as though you're about to lift the heel to run and push off the toes. And what this does is it gives us this really good sensation of how it feels to draw the leg back as though you're about to lift the heel and push forwards. So we wanna be pushing forwards instead of pulling ourselves forwards. So give that a go, try that a few times on both sides. So if we can take that sensation of pushing off the toes into our run, obviously when you take it into your run, you are gonna be lifting your heels behind, but you're still pushing off the ground to take yourselves forward. 
So that little technique in combination with some of the yoga is going to make a big impact and you'll probably find any pain or irritation eases off in the front of the hips here. Now I've made a couple of videos on yoga for hip flexors before, so go and check out those links down in the show notes. The most benefit though comes from a whole body yoga practice which you can get from our Get On Track program. This month of January we have a special offer on so be sure to check out Get On Track because that's going to help you to implement a yoga routine in the time that you have. That's runbetterwithyoga.com slash G-O-T. Oh, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think once you've tried these things. You can write to me over on the blog, leave me a comment or a question there on betterwithyoga.com or find us in the Run Better With Yoga community. Start a conversation over there. Of course, you can find us on social at Run Better With Yoga. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you next time.